Joining us here at Pebble Beach, Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta Airlines. I mean, if there is a cyclical industry, something more cyclical than airlines, especially after the pandemic and 9-11, I, I don't know what it is. Um, so at this point, is the pent-up demand that we, uh, that we saw that built up during the pandemic, is that starting to wear off, or is it still, it's not? It's not, the, not at all. In fact, we'll be lapping the annualization of it this coming President's Day weekend. That's when the real surge occurred, and there is no signs that people hmm. were able to, in the space of a year, take care of almost three years of, of travel. So I, I think this is going to continue. I think it's going to be a multi-year incremental demand set. How far out can you see? Are you looking at bo booking six months from now? And I ask only because if you talk to J.P. Morgan or some other people, they'll tell you the consumer's excess cash may run out around June or July. If that's yeah. the case, can you see past that? Well, uh, we, we have pretty good insight into the spring, uh, early summer, uh, but there's no sign. So the numbers continue to be very, very strong. Uh, you know, our, our consumer does have a significant amount of cash still. Uh, we're not, we're a, more of a premium brand, and uh, international is still opening. You know, we don't even have a China open yet, and other parts of Asia. So I think there's a significant year ahead for the, our industry, and it's up to the industry to do a darn good job of running a good business. And that's leisure is, okay, so that's leisure. With this new, this idea about how work has changed, is business travel going to get back to where it was and go above that, or... Because I think now, all of a sudden, it's like business and leisure is kind of combined with, yeah. with conventions, isn't it? And, and, yeah. and, and company visits and things like that. But overall, business travel is not back to where it was yet, is it? Traditional business travel is not back. But what you see happening is people are traveling for a lot of different reasons. So many of those business travelers may not be coming into the office five days a week, maybe any days a week, and they're taking their work with them on the road. And so they can travel and work from wherever they're at. Yeah. And as a result of that, you see a significant incremental uh, piece of business that we never saw before. You're a strict taskmaster. You got pe the, the, when did you get people back in? There were, and you didn't really... Our, pe our people were back in... No excuses, right? No, in April of 2021, so almost two years now. Uh, listen, our office is in the public eye. You know, our people don't have an office to come to. They take care of people and bring the world together. And our, our merit staff, our headquarters staff, you know, they can't lead if, if, you know, from your home if your people are out there delivering the, the results. So, no, we, we made very limited exceptions. And, by the way, it's been great because people are collaborating. They're working. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a great environment to be back on the campus. Do you know what kind of planes are going to be the future? Do you know what to order? Do you know, I mean, is, is it going to be those pods? Is first class going to be a... We're putting more and more first class just for you. <laughs> yeah, just for me. <laughs> I, and what, do you still, you do some things with, with pro, you have some partnerships with, with uh, I, I, it's not necessarily like private, but it's, you know, sort of a fractional... Well, wheels share, up. With, with wheels up. Yeah, we're the largest shareholder in wheels up. So we have a 20% ownership stake with Kenny. And uh, that's the top end of our premium stack. So if you want to go above the pods, you'll call Kenny.